as soon as that pot hanger feels any friction that should sit nicely in place and you can adjust that and it has literally just cut right through the glove Good afternoon to all my absolutely fantabulous YouTube friends. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking that button and joining me for today's video. Hope you're all well. Now then, guys and girls, you join me on this beautiful day in the woodland to partake in and hopefully complete a bushcraft challenge set by another YouTube channel. That is correct. Floyd from Green Valley Outdoors has recently demonstrated on his channel a two-piece pot hanger that can be assembled and disassembled for ease of carry and used at various camps. After he demonstrated the piece of equipment, he posed it as a challenge to the community, and that is what we are going to do today. If we get the results I want, we are going to elaborate on that a little bit. I will show you how to build an adjustable pot hanger, which will complement that hook, just like that. So, let's crack on. Stop the film, stop, 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 stop. Guys and girls, I am beginning to think that these gloves are cursed. So this is the same glove. We got the nick on from the ax in the ax video. Um, I've just been using the silky. It jumped out the wood um, and it has literally just cut right through the glove, which is here on the hand. Luckily I sustained no injury. But, um, there you can see the line from the last cut and then we've got this one here. Absolutely gutted. I'm hoping super glue will come to the rescue again, but in all the years I had the elegant text, I did not once have a single issue with their tools going through the gloves on this one. Yeah. Guys and girls, drama over. I've gotten over my little self and uh, just excuse the tears. Stupid, beautiful gloves. So we have managed to Source the materials required for the project. I did want to use dead wood, um, but unfortunately everything in this woodland is pretty much damp and rotten. We've had a lot of really bad weather in the last few months. So, plus side, we do have a lot of hazel in the woodland. So I've managed to copy just a couple of branches. Um, I did want to get it off one length, but when you're looking for features like these, it's hard to get it off one length. So we now have all the materials required for the hook and the adjustable pot anger. So, the idea behind this is we're going to have one this way, one that way, like that. So when this wood has been fashioned and these are put together, this will be a secure hook that you can hang your pots off over the fire. But when you want to carry this about, um, it's built in such a way you can remove the plug in the middle, which I will demonstrate. These can then be taken apart, put in your bag and then built up again for your next camp. So we'll crack on now with the next process. Right guys, so that is the piece is now fitted together. All we need to do now is hollow out the centre into like a rectangle and then find a block which will um, press between these two causing friction and locking these two corners in situ. So we'll do that now.
So, guys and girls, just a quick question. Do you ever have one of them days where you should know just to give up and try another day? <laughs> so, so far today, I've gone right through my mulgs, um, I've scalped my knuckle, but the project is taking form. So I've got something I can show you now, and I think you'll see there what we're trying to accomplish. So, as you can see there, we now have a rebated access in the middle, and that is where we're going to put a slither of wood there. That'll go through, force the two pieces apart, which will hook into each corresponding notch. There we go. Um, you will notice when you're building this um, that you'll need little bits of adjustment here and there. It might not look fantastic to start with, but you'll see where you need to remove material. Um, obviously do it slowly because you can take away, but you can't add to it. Um, but there we go, so we just need to cut a slither now. I think I'll do this in two parts, two wedges so we can slide that in and that'll give you a better fit rather than just one big piece in the middle. I think we're going to use dead wood for this. Just for shrinkage purposes. In fact, let's just try... How wide is that? Have a look. Can I just go with a one piece? Yeah, that should fit lovely. And we'll chamfer one side of it. So, it'll give us. Let's go with that. And there we have it ladies and gents, the finished collapsible pot hook. It's a really fun project to undertake in the woods, especially on a day like this, so give it a go. So you can tart it up after you've finished. Well that is very robust, should not come apart and should allow you to suspend your pots over the fire. Uh, on this one I'm going to use this side to hang the pots and this side to hang over the, uh, the arm that we are going to build now for the adjustable pot hanger. There we go. Right ladies and gents, the adjustable pot hanger I'm about to show you consists of three components. First one being a hook, a V and a straight upright. Now the way in which this goes, the hook is going to hook around the upright, the V is going to sit on the upright creating a friction hold and these two need to be joined in such a way like this. Now. How you connect these two pieces is entirely up to you. Today I'm going to use a small auger bit to drill through and I'm also going to rebate each piece so they sit snug together and that should give it a nice uh, solid fixing. So let's crack on with that. Right. I love that noise. Right ladies and gents, rather than bore you with a load of sawing, um, I've completed the next step. So as you can see there, we've cut out two sections and these are going to now lap over and lock into place. To finish that, I'm just going to put an auger all through here now and just pin it and that'll secure it. And that is pretty much the simplicity of this pot hanger. Right guys and girls, take your long shaft Choose your spot, point the end, chamfer the top. And drive that securely into the ground. Now your pole is nice and rigid. Take your newly fashioned pot hanger and seat it on when your pole. When you finish the project, you introduce your very elaborate pot stand, adjustable pot stand to the pole. 
Any weight on the end of the bail arm will cause friction on the pole and that should hold your pots in place. Works better with the longer bail arms, you can imagine more weight on this end will cause more friction this end. But, great little project, uh, works very well. Give it a go yourself. And that, guys and girls, pretty much wraps up today's video. So, I hope you've enjoyed this little project out in the woods. I'd like to thank Floyd from Green Valley Outdoors for sending that uh, challenge over. Really enjoyed that today. Beautiful weather as well, so massive bonus. Big gash in my glove, very upsetting. Going to cry off camera in a bit some more. So, yeah. I would also like to say a massive thank you to my channel members. That's Steve Abs, Brindle2009 and Nini82. Thank you for your awesome support. Really do appreciate it. Thanks again. If you did enjoy today's content, ladies and gents, please leave a like on the video. Also consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any future content like this. And I'm going to wrap the video up there, ladies and gents. So, I will leave Floyd's Green Valley Outdoor YouTube channel link down in the description box so you can go across there and check out the initial uh, challenge video. Next content coming to the channel should be on a wild camp very soon. I've also picked up my new rifle, the um, Air Arms S410 TDR, so I'll be doing a review on that. Also got a few more bits of gear, maybe some cooking videos in the very near future, so stay tuned to the channel. Until the next one, you stay safe, and as always, stay crafty. See you again, guys. Bye-bye.